Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Xcode on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, you need to open the App Store. You can find the App Store icon on the dock. This is the App Store icon, so just click on that. Or you can also search for App Store in your Launchpad and then click on that and App Store will start. From here, just search for Xcode and then press enter which is going to search for Xcode and the result which we are uh, looking for is this one which is called Xcode Developer Tools. Here I'm going to click on this uh, download button. So in my case it shows this warning which says download the older version of Xcode. The current version requires Mac OS 13.5 or later but you can download the last compatible version. Because right now, if I click on the Apple logo and then click on about uh, this Mac, I have the 13 version, not the 13.5. So I can uh, download the older version. If you have the latest version of Mac OS, uh, you can download the latest version of uh, compatible Xcode. Here I'm going to click on download button, which is going to start the download of the Xcode. So you can see, uh, this download has been started. It's around 7 GB uh, of download. So it will take some time for the download to complete. You can also go to the launch pad and see the download process. Here you can see this download is going on. So it's going to download around 7 GB of uh, data. So it will take some time. So just wait for the download to finish. So once the download is complete, it's going to start the installation process. As you can see, when I hover over this circle, installation process is about 2% complete. So now the Xcode is installed on my Mac operating system. Once it's installed, you will be able to see open button in front of uh, Xcode. Also in the launch pad, you will be able to see this Xcode icon. So I'm going to click on this Xcode icon. Let me minimize this app store and then it's going to start the Xcode. So for the first time when Xcode starts on your Mac operating system, it's going to ask to agree with the license terms and conditions. So if you want, you can read these license terms and conditions and then click on agree and then give your MacBooks password, which you use to log into your Mac operating system and then press OK. And then you will be able to see this kind of window, which says select the platforms which you would like to develop for. For now, I want to use it for macOS and iOS development. Later, I can also install the toolkit for watchOS or tvOS, but for now, I don't want that. So I will just uh, leave it as default and then click on install, which is going to start the installation of additional components. And you can see the progress bar of the installation. So at this point, I just need to wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. And once that's done, Xcode is going to launch in few seconds. So you can see uh, Xcode has been started. First of all, it says what's new in Xcode, Xcode Cloud, Swift UI, and it's going to give you the list of all the features. I can click on continue here and now Xcode has been started. So once Xcode starts on my Mac operating system, I can create a new project. I can clone an existing project or I can open the existing project. So I'm going to create a new project because I have just installed Xcode. So I'm going to click on create new project. From here, you can select different type of uh, projects, for example, multi-platform. You have the document app, game, safari, app. You also have the iOS option. You also have the Mac OS option. So for now, I want to create a very simple command line tool. So I'm going to select Mac OS and then select command line tool here and then click on next. And then I'm going to give the name to my project and the language here I need to select. So I will select the C++ language first of all and the product name will be demo cpp for example and then you can also add the team but i don't want to uh, do that 
and you can also add the organization identifier i'm going to just write uh, code bind here for example you can give any uh, organization identifier here and then i'm going to click on next and then it's going to ask me where i want to uh, save my project i want to save my project in my documents folder so i will select that and then it says source control create git repository on my mac i don't want to create a git repository so i will uncheck this option and then click on create which is going to create this demo.c++ uh, app here i also can see that uh, this uh, c++ file is created for me and i have this sample c++ code here so now i just need to compile this code so let's build this code so to build the code i can just click on product and then click on build option which is going to compile this program it says build succeeded and then to run the program i can click on product once again and then click on run which is going to run this uh, app and it's going to show the output which is hello world so my c++ program is running fine and this is how you can uh, create a project in your xcode right so that's it for this video this is how you can install xcode on your mac operating system and create a project on xcode i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video